Hello everybody, my name is Christian Quick, and welcome back to another video. This right here, this is Doc, the jock rock block for my rock, to walk and talk, to mock his hawk knock of chalk. So let's shock to sock the schlock stock of chalk from this rock, then gawk and flock. Say that ten times fast. Alright, here we are back in the code. So let's grab our animated block just for simple stuff. We're going to be talking about another three things. So today we're going to be making a block and we're going to be calling it... I could write out that whole thing, but uh, you guys, uh, for the tutorial's sake, I'm not going to do that. So let's just write rock for short. Uh, so we're going to have to write uh, rock down here because we're going to be talking about the basically the strength of a block. So, like I said, there is three of them. So there is, uh, let's do hardness, strength, and then resistance. So one thing I want to explain is hardness. Hardness was created first, and then resistance came along. Hardness is talking about how hard is the block. If I made it 100, right, then it's going to take a really, really long time for me to break it. Resistance it has nothing to do with how hard it is. It is resistant from things that explode. So if I have a really big explosion, if I have a high resistance, it might be able to combat it. If the strength of the explosion is stronger than the resistance, then the block will break and it'll drop its loot table. Now, we haven't gotten to loot tables yet, so no matter what happens, it will just break and drop nothing, but that is perfectly fine. But for hardness and strength, well, then what is strength? Well, if I set my hardness, which requires a value, so if I just said 10, right, um, it'll be it'll be pretty tough. It'll take quite a quite a little bit, right? But then if I say dot str uh, strength of 10, now you'll see that it says strength like this, uh, but there's actually two of them. There's another strength down here that says uh, float hardness and resistance. So strength and hardness are, they are legitimately the same. There is literally no difference. But I would always suggest using strength because if you only want to give something a hardness, then you would just use strength float strength. And if you want to give something a hardness and a resistance, then you would use same method strength and then you would use float hardness, float resistance. So if I said the old way of doing it was I would write hardness of 10, and then I would have a resistance of whatever I felt like it. So if I said 10 as well, it could be 4, you know. It is what it is. But then they changed it, where resistance isn't always on anything because there's a lot of things that just blow up. But if I just write strength, right, the first number will always be talking about hardness, strength. It's the same thing. So if I just say 10, obviously that's that with no floating resistance. But then if I hit comma and then hit 10 again, it now has hardness within the strength. So, but they are the same. So we're just going to write strength. We're just going to ignore hardness because even if you look in the, uh, the actual Minecraft blocks, there's nothing that has hardness anymore. It's all done in strength. And either they use the hardness inside of strength to, to get that and when you don't write in the resistance. Um, so that's just the, the strength, but most people write it like this. Now, if you want a good reference on what the, uh, hardness and resistance of other blocks for, you can actually go it on your thing and you can look up the mine, uh, yeah, the Minecraft, official Minecraft wiki. I don't know what page it'll brought me into. And then just look up, uh, hardness is probably a good one. And it's going to talk about breaking. Um, and then here we have, uh, blocks of breaking, instant breaking, blocks by hardness. So we have stuff like this. So we can actually tell, uh, it, it, here's your, you know, what the actual hardness is. So we all know about block of netherite has a 50, uh, water has 100, but, um, I, I, that's just something that's coded, I guess. You can't actually break water with a pickaxe, although that would be funny. But you can go through a list of all of the ones that you want. Um, this is just one way of doing it. If you just want to look at all of them like really quickly in an organized fashion. If you don't really care about an organized fashion, you can look up resistance as well. It'll also give you an organized fashion. If you do not care about the organized fashion, well, then you can simply just look up uh, your blocks. 
uh, hit include non-project files and then go to the one that says net Minecraft uh, class. And then you can simply look up control F and then let's say I, what is the hardness and resistance of obsidian? Or, you know, I could look up obsidian and then this isn't right. Well, they're probably the same, but uh, I want the actual obsidian. So then here we have strength is 50 and the resistance is 1,200. So that, that's pretty good. That's pretty good. Um, and then one extra thing about hardness is if I, so you can look them all up like this. One extra thing about the, the hardness or strength, however you want to call it at this point. Uh, if I look up like bedrock, so we know that bedrock is absolutely unbreakable. And what's interesting is that instead of hard, setting the hardness to infinity, they set the hardness to negative one. So if you just say that the negative, it's negative one, then you can't break it because a hardness can't be negative. As soon as you put a negative number on there, um, it's going to be, you, you can't break it ever. So even if, and they just usually use negative one because minus one is enough. If you write any negative number, it'll obviously do the same thing because anything lower than negative is still lower and also impossible. Resistance set to a really, really high number, but I guess technically this means that it's not impossible to blow it up. People do it all the time with glitches and stuff anyways. But that is really, I mean, all the tutorial is really set up through here. But, I mean, we have, you know, if I said the hardness is 10 and then the resistance is 10 and then we can reload our thing. Obviously, I would put in all of the files already. So I guess we can just take a look at it again. Just as a bonus, you can actually make your, if you just, if you can code everything however you want it. But if you just want the name of something to be as long and ridiculous as you can, you can set that in literally just the JSON file of the um, the lang, and everything will still be coded correctly because this only translates how the name looks. Now this name is also going to be way too big, so I guess we're going to find out what happens because I don't think I've ever made a name this long, so we get to learn something together, I guess. But um, I think it's just going to be way too big and go off the edges. I don't think it's going to know to hit the enter key. I wonder if I tell it to make the inner key if it'll do that, though. All right, here we are in our beautiful world. So let's slash, uh, actually, uh, yeah, and no, I didn't give myself in the <laughs> slash give at S, and then let's give ourselves the rock. Uh, oh, oh my goodness. Yep, it just, oh, look at that. <laughs> it's slightly too big for my screen. Uh, it's just slightly too big for my screen. I wonder if I hit the enter key if it will actually enter it for me. That, that would be interesting. So normally in strings, uh, if you want to put in an enter key, you just do backslash n. You can see how it is uh, orange, so that's how you know you did you at least did oops, did something. So we're gonna go in here and did it put an enter key inside of the string? Uh, no. <laughs> As a matter of fact, I couldn't even tell you what that is. Lf, lf, what is lf? Well, I guess you guys can tell me what LF is in the comments below. But anyways, that's going to be it for this video. Uh, there wasn't really anything to do. I mean, if you want to know what 1010 is, uh, I'll place it on the ground. Uh, and then we'll just kind of put it on and we'll break it with a diamond pick, I guess. Uh, it is going to take a second. But anyways, that's going to be it for this video. So... Thank you guys so much for watching. If you have any questions, you can let me know in the comments below. But that's going to be it. So I'm going to say it once again. Thank you guys so much for watching. And without further ado.